We're going to show you how to record audio and plot a waveform in LabVIEW using the Express Sound VI. We're going to start off with a blank VI like you usually would in LabVIEW. We're going to go to the block diagram, and then in the functions we're going to go programming, graphics and sound, sound, input, and acquire sound VI. The first thing that pops up is the configuration menu for this VI. Um, it's set to all the defaults and usually you won't really have to worry about most of these. For example, the built-in microphone is what you're usually going to be using unless you have another audio input. Two channels is pretty standard and so is a resolution of 16 bits. And then we're going to show you how to create controls that can change the duration and the sampling rate. All the control inputs are on the side, but if you drag down on this Express VI, they're all nicely labeled for you for a better reference. And it's easy to just right click and create controls for anything that you want to be able to change. And in this case, we're going to do both the duration and the sampling rate. Now that we've made these controls, you'll see that they're now on the front panel. And there you go. Uh, you can now alter them by either just inputting the number or clicking them up and down. Uh, there's other ones, but we'll leave for we'll stick with these for now. So since we want to be able to look at our waveform after we've acquired it, we are going to put in a waveform graph into the front panel. And once you've done that, it'll also pop up in your block diagram. And all you have to do is connect the data out from your acquired sound VI to the waveform graph. Well, so now that we have all that, we're going to do a duration of five seconds. And we'll change our sampling rate to a standard 44.1 kilohertz, or 44100 in hertz. And then we can go ahead and run our VI. So test, one, two, three, four, five. And there we've gone. We've captured a five second audio waveform at a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz. Thank you for watching.